one day soon we will arrive. Playing all. It's like the soundtrack for this past decade for me, probably my soundtrack. My first experience with the Cat Empire, um, I had colon cancer in 2006, and it was in the period of time as I was starting to recover from that. Coming through something where you think that you were going to die, and then not dying, you know, it's that whole, oh, new lease on life, and kind of crazy and acting out, and I was just like looking for new music and things to be invigorated by, and, and then I found the Cat Empire, and it was like the most healing music, I, I, for me, I guess it's got to be All Night Loud because I have the personal, I'm going to tear up. In that journey, I've gotten to know and like the Cat Empire more and more and more, and it's become like really about the only music that I've been listening to with the videos and then the fan network, the fan worldwide fan page, and I got really involved with that. So I... I'm, I'm a top fan. I am, um, apparently Harry told everybody backstage before they met me that I was the top fan. We went to see them in 2015 and I met Felix and promised that someday I would name foster kittens for the band. And then just this whole kitten thing grew. So there's a Facebook group called the Cat Empire Cat Empire and it has all three litters now of Cat Empire kittens. So we've done the whole band now. We got Ross and Kieran inside right now. And, um, and we get home office girls. We've got Rhiannon and, and Kareen in the last one. I really like that feeling of community spirit through the Cat Empire. All of those things are healing things. And all of that stuff takes us up out of ourselves. The music is the language of us all. Our weapons were our instruments. You know, we kill ourselves in argument, outwit them with our brains. I love all the life and the, and, and <laughs> the music being the remedy.